Barvinok, Ukrainian dance ensemble, is thrilled to be a part of the annual World Beat Festival to share a little bit of Ukrainian culture with you. Barvinok, Ukrainian dance ensemble, has been carrying on the proud tradition of Ukrainian folk dance for the past 20 years and is the only Ukrainian dance group located in the Washington state. Barvinok translates to periwinkle. Now, some of you know this as a flower, but in Ukraine, it symbolizes eternity, which is the whole idea behind what our dance group. The concept that the team will continue growing, that each of the students carry on a Ukrainian culture throughout their lives and eventually pass it on to the next generation. Over the past decade, Baranok has performed for various audiences, cultural festivals, private events, and participated in many competitions. Their main goal is to turn dancing into a passion and spread knowledge about Ukraine's vibrant culture to the local communities. Today, they will be performing for you a total of nine dances that will give you a look into their different regions of Ukraine and their characteristic of styles. You will have the opportunity to experience the culture of a country located in the heart of Europe and enjoy colorful traditional costumes, fine-tuned choreography, passionate dancing, and medallic, modelic Ukrainian songs. First, Baranok will be pre presenting a dance called Hostel, which will be one of the three hostel, hostel dances by various age groups and choreography. Okay, the Ukrainian, sorry folks, is picturesque image stretching across Western Ukraine and a treasure that moves mutual beauty and cultural richnesses. Hostile culture is a vibrant and colorful reflected in their traditional clothing, music, and craftsmanship. The lifestyle in the Carpathians is deeply connected to nature with traditions and revolving around pastoralism and forestry and intricate handcuffs, handcrafts. Now, when I say the word hostels, it's actually spelled H-U-S-T-U-L-S -S, and are renowned for their wooden ar architecture, including beautifully carved homes and churches and their elaborate embroidery and weaving. This cultural heritage combined with the stunning landscapes makes the Ukrainian Carpathians a unique and enchanting destination. The region offers a glimpse into a way of life that harmoniously blends historically traditions around the world. Please welcome Barnak Dance Troupe. Seriously, show your love. Scream. I don't care. There you go. There you go. Make them feel loved.
I want everybody to know that the Malenki Hutzel was the name of the performers that just performed. And as you notice, their outfits are very colorful. It's the actual na um, national dress for the, let me see, where they traveled Carpathia and also known as the Carpathian Mountains. So I messed that part up. So our next group is going to come up to welcome the adult team at their dance, Chabon. You know, I sure wish I had taken Ukrainian language because I feel horrible I'm chopping these words up. Kazachok, thank you. Now they have traveled to Poltava region where they experience a dance called Kovachok. The Kovachok dance is a vibrant and lively expression of the Ukrainian folklore and cultural identity deeply noted in the historical traditions of the Kozaks, the ironic warriors, and the defenders of the Ukrainian lands. Known as the Bris Tempo and spirited movements, the Kozok, and the violent spirit and the freedom loving essence of the Kozak heritage. I'm losing my voice. Dancers perform with sense of boldness and agility, featuring rapid steps, jumps, and a playful interchange between partners, often mirroring the martial arts of the festive celebrations of the Kozak communities. The Kozak, Kozak dance is not merely a performance, but a celebration of Ukrainian resilience, 
command ties, and the joyous aff affirmation of life despite historical adversaries, adversities, accompanied by the lively sounds of traditional Ukrainian instruments, such as the bandur bandura and accordion, the Kazajok offers a glimpse into the soulful and jubilant spirit of the Ukrainian people. Let's welcome the Barvinox beginner team for their dance, the Maliki Hutzel. My bad. Now let's welcome the Barbara Knox beginner team with their dance, Melenki Hostel.
How'd you like that? They're going to bow. We're going to bow. Thank you. Love it. With this Malenki hostile dance, we have traveled to Karpati, Kapati, also known as the Kapath Kaparthian Mountains. The region is located on the western border of Ukraine, and those who live in the Carpathians are called hostiles. The hostile national dress is very colorful, and the interiors of their homes, utensils, and many household items are decorated. For them, clothes have always been a matter of pride and boasting. That is why there is not a single stitch on their clothing without a decoration. Embroidery, ribbons, tassels, heads, trent, glass, and pieces of metal are all in the bright colors. Find their way onto hostile clothing. Because of the adverse climate and the geo geography of the region, the dance costumes involve this leather mo moccasin and richly decorated vest since the region, the region is very cold and the dances also incorporate lively steps, fast vertical movements and, loss, and lots of stomping. Next, we would like to invite the adult team with their dance Chabon. Next, we would like to welcome their next dance, Chabon. Ooh, I gotta get tough with you people.
The dance you've just witnessed comes from the central Ukraine. Dancers stemming from the region are the most prominent and popular. One cannot avoid being swept away by the passionate energy, joy, and beauty of these performances. Please welcome to the stage once again our talented adult dancers who will be performing Shobon. Yuvinets, Yuvinets, will be the next dance by the Provenox Intermediate Team with the word Yuvinets translating to weaving. When watching this dance, you will see the dancers make various patterns throughout the dance that resemble a weaving and crossing over pattern. Yuvinets is a element that you will see and have been seeing throughout the night. The Vinak which is the headpiece with various flowers and ribbons. Delicate flowers, herbs, colorful ribbons. Vnuk is one of the oldest symbols of Ukraine. It is viewed as a symbol of the bright sky above the head of the one wearing it and seen as a protector from evil spirits and illnesses. Our Ukrainian ancestors understood that the part of the body responsible for thinking and creation was the head and therefore created Vinok to protect it from negative forces. While the flowers give the Vinok magical powers, perhaps the strongest talisman was and remains Barvinok, symbol of immortality of the human soul, an herb of love and feminine beauty. This was also art and meaning behind the selection of quantity of ribbons in the Vinok. Up to 12 colors were used to embellish the heel the head of the Ukrainian girl. Each color had meaning and make as together. They protected her from ill wishes. The variety of the Ukrainian Vikni is impressive, more than 77 kinds. And no matter the reason for weaving the Vinuk, it is always done and care with care and gentleness. Vinuk is the expression of love, respect to nature and your homeland. Vignettes. Oh, 
Welcome to the stage to dance Juvenitz. These beautiful children actually just performed Kiska Polka. So my apologies on that one. We're now at Western Polka. Now we will have the intermediate team present to you their hostel dance. The hostel region, nestled in the heart of the Carpathian Mountains in Ukraine, is renowned for the distinctive and vibrant cultural expressions, particularly in the realm of traditional dance. Hutzel dances are spectacular display of agility, strength, rhythm, escapulating the spirit and resilience of the hostile people. These dances are characterized by rapid front footwork, high jumps, and a profound connection to the natural landscape and historical narratives of the region. The dances wear richly decorated costumes which are the mo which are the much of the fest for the eyes of the dance itself, featuring bold colors, intricate head beadwork, and traditional patterns, the reflective artisanal craftsmanship of the hostel hostel community. You know that's the first word I'm going to go ask somebody after this performance is how to say that word properly. The music accompanying these dances is equally compelling with the sounds of the tr a long alpine horn, flutes and violins creating a mesmerizing auditorial display. Hustle dancing goes beyond the mere performances serving as a living testament to the community's endurance, cultural pride, and deep respect for the ancestral, ancestry tradition. Through these dances, the hostile region continues to share as a unique heritage and contribute to the rich tapestry of Ukrainian cultural identity.
Hutzel, the Volin region, located in the northwestern part of Ukraine, is celebrated for its rich cultural heritage, particularly in the realm of traditional Ukrainian dance. Volin's dances, distinguished by their energetic movements, vibrant costumes, and the profound sense of community they foster. Characterized by a dynamic blend of both lyrical and sprinted steps, these dances often reflect the historical and social narratives of the Volin people. The dances' costumes are elaborately designed, featuring intricate embroidery that showcases original patterns and colors, adding to the visual spectacle of the performance. Volin dances are not just performances, but are deeply embedded in the region's cultural rituals and celebration, playing a crucial role in preserving the unique identity and traditions of the area. This dance form, with its emphasis on collective harmony and expressive storytelling, continues to be the significant part of Ukraine's cultural legacy, drawing interest and admiration from audiences both locally and internationally. Ladies and gentlemen, Volun.
You like that? Show your love. <laughs>